Hi Cozy Friends, how are we this week? If you don't know me, I'm Kennedy, also known as Cozy K, and I'm on TikTok, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitch, I'm on a lot of things, so make sure to check me out. A couple weeks ago, I posted a Switch fall recommendation video, and I wanted to do a PC version. If you have a Switch and you haven't seen that video yet, definitely go check it out, and I also have two videos, a Switch one and a PC video from last year that are some fall recommendations, just some classics. So if there's any on this list, you're like, how could you not? mention this it might have been on that list okay let's get started The first game is the only one that I also mentioned on the Switch video, and that's because I've heard mixed reviews of it being ported on the Switch and how it's not as easy to play on the Switch as it is on the PC, and that is Bear and Breakfast. So I am full send recommending this for PC because I've personally played it on the PC and I think it plays amazingly. And if you don't know what Bear and Breakfast is, it is a bed and breakfast managing sim where you are a bear living in the forest with your forest friends and you're foraging and you're crafting and you're managing these bed and breakfasts that humans come in and use. It is so charming, so cute, and it is perfect for the fall time because you are a bear in a forest. Come on, it's so cute and cozy. Okay, moving on to the games I haven't mentioned in the last video. The first is Potion Permanent. This is kind of the Stardew Valley-like game, but you're a chemist. This game is also available on other platforms, but I really enjoy it on a PC. I just demoed it. Definitely check it out if you're curious about this game. It is so, so cozy. Just the colors of the game, the concept of you kind of in this wooded, foresty area, and you're crafting potions to aid people and heal them and you're learning new potions and you're writing them in your little potion book. It's all very fall, very kind of like witchy, foresty vibes and it's perfect for the fall. I'm also a huge fan of the art style. It's like very detailed pixel art and I really enjoy it. It just makes it all the more cozy to me. Another potion type game is Potion Craft. This is in early access right now, but according to the developers, it is basically at its final form, they just want to add in some new features. I haven't personally tried Potion Craft yet, but I've seen lots of gameplay of it. They were actually at PAX West when I went recently and I got to see a lot of the gameplay. It looked so cute and so cozy and again, perfect for the fall of just like witchy potion feels and then also just color wise. It's just these beautiful browns and neutrals and it just makes it so cozy to play. And what you're doing is you're basically learning new potion recipes. You're either growing your own ingredients or you're buying them and you're experimenting with new potions and then you can go and sell them and kind of role play as whatever character you want to role play as when you're going out and selling these potions. It just looks so cozy and I cannot wait to try this this fall. Next in the very similar potion-y vein is Alchemy Story and this is one of Cozy B's games and Cozy B has like four super perfect for fall cozy games and I've talked about them before because I just love her art style so much. Cozy we did Lemon Cake, which is coming out on the Switch in the fall. It's just such an amazing game, and Alchemy Story is another one of their games. I would say think Stardew Valley type game, you know, farming sim. I hate to always say Stardew Valley, but it's a farming sim, but you are also an uh, alchemist. You're brewing up potions, and you're meeting the townspeople, and it's just the most cozy, autumnally colored game. And honestly, this is just me suggesting all of Cozy Bee's games for the fall. So definitely try them all out. They're all on Steam. The next is Lumberjack. And I got to demo this live on Wholesome Games' TikTok. And it was so much fun. Basically, you are a bear who's traipsing through the forest, trying to restore the forest to its former glory, get rid of all the bad like tractors and hazardous waste and things like that. Nature, nature is healing type game. And it is so cute. And again, just like bear in the forest screams fall to me. The next is Little Witch in the Woods. And this is still an early access game. And so I think it still has things that will need to be tweaked for 
sure. Like when I demoed it on my channel, I felt like there was quite a bit of dialogue in the beginning and it was kind of like hard to get through this huge chunk of dialogue. So maybe in the final version, they'll kind of pare that down, but you can't deny it's going to be a really cozy, perfect for fall game where you're a little witch in the woods. I don't have to explain why that's perfect for fall, okay? You're getting spooky, you're getting witchy, you're learning potions, and you're also in this like beautiful foresty, woodsy environment and just the colors, the, the art, it's all just so cozy. So Little Witch in the Woods, if you are willing to kind of work through a not entirely perfect game yet, you should try it out in early access. Next is one of my favorites on this list. It's Witchy Life Story. And this is a recent release, like last week, this week, very recent. So kind of a point and click, story-based uh, spell potion making sim where you're learning people's stories in the town that you move to and you're coming into your own as a witch. And it's one of my favorites because I love a good point and click when it is made in a way that almost doesn't feel like you're contained in this one page, you know what I mean? Like there's a dynamicism to it that makes it feel like book or story or show or something like that where it's not just like click a button and the next thing happens and click a button. This feels so dynamic. The colors are so warm and inviting and I love the way that you can kind of customize your little altar as a witch and put the things you like on it. I really enjoyed the kind of learning mechanism. It reminds me of Strange Horticulture, which I mentioned on my Switch video, which is also on PC and it's also an amazing game but learning kind of which ingredients you need for certain potions or for certain things that people need is such a fun mechanic. And then you're also harvesting flowers and stuff in your backyard to use for the potions. And I just love it so much and I can't wait for the full release. And there's a free demo on Steam. So if you're like, I don't know, Kennedy, I don't know if I like point and clicks. I like to move around. Definitely try the free demo. I promise you'll be hooked. So that's another kind of witchy, cozy color game for the fall. The next is Beacon Pines. And I actually didn't hear about this too much until recently. And I am so excited for it. So this is a like storybook adventure game, mystery, kind of your choices matter and the outcome type game. They describe it as cute and creepy, which is perfect for I think a cozy gamer wanting a creepy-ish game, but like not too creepy. The description says something is happening in a warehouse and Luca, the main character, and his friends are trying to figure out what mysterious thing is happening in this warehouse. So this is also a very recent release and there also is a free demo that you can try. So if you're like, I don't know, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's a little too creepy, try it out and see if you like it. I can't wait to try it out myself. The next is Wildflowers and I just recently demoed this and I absolutely loved it. I'm including it in this list because I'm like kind of overwhelmed with all the farming sims that are out recently. I'm feeling a little bit like, I'm just gonna go back to Stardew. You know, like there's so many and yeah, they're good, but like Stardew's tried and true. If I wanna play a farming sim in the fall, it's probably gonna be Stardew. But something about this game after I tried it, it just felt like the world felt so alive and so cozy to me. I'm like, this is perfect for fall. This is the farming sim I wanna pick up for the fall if I'm feeling in a farming sim mood. The thing that makes it so unique from other farming sims is that there is voice acting for every single character in the game. There's like so many cutscenes and stuff when you talk to them that it feels so alive and it feels like Azula wants to say hi. Say hi. <laughs> It just feels very alive because of the voice acting. And again, it feels like you're kind of like watching a show, like the way the cutscenes are happening and it's just so immersive. And I feel like that's perfect for cozying up and getting a blanket and like sitting down for hours and playing something while it's raining outside, it's cold and you know, got the fireplace on. I wish I had a fireplace to turn on, <laughs> but this is just, it's just a unique farming sim. And, and if you haven't tried it, if you're burnt out of farming sims, this would be the one that I might pick up this fall. The next is one that I have talked about before on this channel. Channel, but I have to share it. It is Witchwood. And uh, when I tell you the colors of Witchwood are just like the epitome of fall coziness. This game, not only is there kind of like spooky, like witchy, all of those type vibes to it that makes it perfect for fall, just the colors alone. The colors alone, oh my God, they're stunning, they're beautiful. And then there's also just like kind of a mystery element to the story that you're figuring out. I have yet to finish this game and I need to, I want to, but perfect for fall. And it's not too long, I've heard. So it's kind of a perfect game to pick up 
if you want to like get through a game and you don't want to just like be invested in a never ending game like farming sims or something like that like there is an end to the game so it's perfect for like some long bursts and, and that's it and you can pack it up and, and leave it behind what a perfect game to do that with for the fall with the beautiful colors and the themes and which would try it. It's also on Switch, by the way. Okay, the next two are very similar and I have not personally tried these yet. So I don't know if I could personally recommend them, but I am going to try them so soon, as soon as possible, because after researching for this video, I was like, how did I not know these games existed before? How did I not know? The first is called Winkledish. <laughs> not sure how to pronounce it, but Okay. And the second is called Tavern Master. And so both of these are task management, time management, store management games where you are managing either like an old tiny store in Winkle or a tavern and tavern master and it is perfect for fall it's perfect for fall like an old tiny tavern wood and you know autumn trees outside and maybe it's snowing or or maybe it's just you know a little a little cold and so you go into the tavern as a as a safe and warm place and someone slams down a pipe for you it just screams fall i'm so upset i didn't know these existed and so i'm definitely gonna go try them this fall let me know if you try them and let me know if you like them because they seem like perfect task management games for the fall. Okay, and the next one is called Brewmaster. This is a very recent release, September 29th, and this is a beer brewing simulator. Listen, Oktoberfest, drinking a, a, a pumpkin cider, like beer and beer making just feels very fall to me. Going to like a beer hall, a beer garden, a brewery, just, it just, it's such a fall activity activity to me and like going apple picking and getting cider in the day and then moving over to the brewery where you get some pumpkin or you know adult cider at night <sighs> just like the fall activities that warm my heart a task manager slash simulator where you're actually starting up and running a brewery just sounds so interesting and perfect for fall and the last little chunk i'm gonna i'm gonna run through them fast because they won't release until next year one of them i believe i don't even know for sure if it's gonna release next year but they're just perfect for the fall. They're perfect PC games for the fall. And hopefully it'll just make my list next year when they come out. But I just want to preview it for you. I want you to be excited about it and put it on your wish list. Okay. The first is Fall of Porcupine. This is a like point and click story based game where you are a little pigeon bird. <laughs> and it's a commentary overall. It's a commentary on the healthcare system. It just looks like it's going to be a great story. It really reminds me of Night in the Woods. And y'all know I love Night in the Woods. So I I think it's gonna be great. Mail time, I talked about this in my last video, but mail time is just cozy fall mushroomy delivery, mail delivery game, and it just looks so cute. I can't wait. And it was going to release in 2022, but they just updated and now it's gonna release in 2023, which is fine. You know, put the finishing touches on it. We'll be patient. And the last one is Garden Path. And this is on the list because the colors are just, uh, it's the colors. I get so excited about the colors. When a game has a tonal color schemes, I can't handle it. And I I just get really excited about playing it in the fall. So next year, fingers crossed, we'll have all three of these games to play in the fall. So just wish list them now, get excited about it, follow the devs on their socials and eventually. But in the meantime, play all the other games on this list. If you have a Switch, play all the other games on my other list. And I hope you have the loveliest fall, the loveliest, cozy, exciting, and adventurous fall with all of these cozy, cozy games. Check me out on my socials if you want to see more, and I love you. Stay cozy. Bye!